my channel. So today's video is going to be all about wig caps, okay? That is the foundation to the wig, of course. So we're going to do a full spill, a full rundown, and I went to the store and I picked up a lot of different wig caps and we're going to look at them, we're going to go through them, and really you guys will be very, very shocked to find out that a lot of these wig caps are like the same exact thing. Okay, so if you would like to learn more about some wig caps and get enlightened, just keep on watching. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to first show you guys the wigs, uh, wig caps that I picked up from the store, and then we gonna open together. So this is all the wig caps that I found, all right? So I'm still missing one, and my local beauty supply store actually didn't have it, and it is the cap with um, the adjustable straps in the back, okay? And I could not find it. But I got a lot others that we can definitely discuss about. So let's go over them first. So I got this one right here. It's by the company Make Your Own Wig. So that's what it looks like, all right? And then... This one's my fave, but we'll go over that. All right, here we go. This one right here. And then this one. Here we go. All right. And then this one right here, $2.99. And a lot of these are dome caps. Here we go. I just couldn't find that netted one that I was looking for. Okay, so now that we have kind of taken a look, taking a look at them, let's get on with opening some. So these all have pretty similar packages. So we were get we will get into opening these. Okay. Now the wig cap that I the wig cap that I really like, I like the dome caps. Oh I love the dome caps. I've just never been into like those mesh ones with the adjustable straps in the back. That's because like a couple times I've made the wig and it's been too small. So anyway Anyways, let's get into it. This one was $2.99. This one is $1.99. And this one was $2.99. So let's see, you know, really like what's going on. So this is the $2.99 one. Let's open it. Alright. So this is what the $2.99 cap looks like. It is a nice mesh dome cap, like what it says. So this one is this one. Alright. So let's get into the second one. And this one is the same thing, a mesh dome cap. Now, this one, these both are $2.99. So it's by a different company. And the reason why I'm making this video because a lot of people, they ask me, they're like, Aaron, what wig cap do I use? And a lot of this stuff can run together so i just want to show you guys what it looks like okay so these are these two caps the same exact caps the same exact there's nothing different in the caps it's the same cap and they are both 2.99 these are really good caps because they are breathable that's one thing that I love about these caps. They are mesh. They're breathable. So it does allow your head to kind of get a little bit of air. So I do like these. But with getting these, um, I always like to use like an extra large in them. Like this cap right here. Um, they usually have mesh. They just started changing the material. But this cap right here used to be look just like this but it will be extra large i get all my caps in extra large because my hair is long but these caps are really good to gear towards okay so mesh caps are the ones that i would suggest you guys go uh mesh dome caps go more towards but these are the same as that cap i'm going to put them back in the thing and then we are going to open the spandex dome cap because some people get confused like what's what's the difference so this is what spandex looks like let me take back out the mesh okay this is what a spandex cap dome cap looks like and this is a mesh cap okay breathable this one isn't so breathable okay so we want to go more towards this one right here this one is really really good too don't get me wrong because i still go for both but you know the mesh is always going to be a little bit more expensive than the dome cap because this dome cap, as you can see, it's only one ninety nine. All right, so be look be on the lookout for that. Which there's nothing wrong with the dome cap, but 
we do want something a little bit more breathable because you know wigs are hot anyway so let's keep it moving so here we are right here a spandex down cap all right this one is 199 also it's by a different company all right so if you guys see this is the same one as these are the same caps, same size, same everything, okay? Same exact caps. Don't get confused. Do not get confused. And it's $1.99 also. This is by this company. This is by this company. They are both $1.99. Why they got to make so many different ones? You know, when they, when they start making bread, they, made, they got a lot of different bread companies. So just take that to perspective. So now we switch over to the men dome caps. Some women ask, okay, oh, can I get a men dome cap? Yeah, let's open it and see. This dome cap was $1.99 also. Okay. All right. Let's hold it up. All three of these caps are the same exact cap. And they are all $1.99. Okay. So we have this cap this cap and this cap are the same exact caps do not let this confuse you they are all the same caps and all the same sizes okay so don't go in there and just be like oh lord i don't know which one i should get and just because that's a man dome cap that does not mean it's any bigger they are all the same cap but like i said it's good because they are all 190 nine okay those mesh ones are always gonna run you a little bit higher so let's keep it moving now this one right here has the same packaging as this one but the girls have on a different cap now this cap right here is different this cap is shaped like this okay if you can look at this one and you see how the the trimming is going this way as you as you can see okay when you look at this one this is made more so like this all right and when you open it it's like this okay let me tell you guys something do not get this cap and it's the same exact thing now as you can see this one says spandex cap this one says dome, spend its dome. You want to go more towards the dome caps, all right? Because the dome caps, as you can see, you see how this dome cap is made? It has this thicker elastic on it, okay? And it has these uh, these stitchings going all around, around the perimeter and also around the sides. If you look at this one, on the inside of this one, it doesn't have that. This right here is just a thin little piece, okay? It's, it's really thin, and it just has this one little seam. Okay, I used to use these caps, but I don't anymore, and I'm going to tell you guys why. These caps are flimsy. They are really flimsy. So I would suggest, but another thing about it is, if you are making wigs for someone else, or you do have a really big head and, and you feel like these caps don't work for you, this cap is freaking perfect. This cap is like extra, 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 extra large. When I use this cap, I have to resize this cap. That is the only thing, that, that is the pro of this cap. But I suggest that if you use it, go over the seams. Because that's what I used to do. I would go over all the seams a couple of, like one time with like my regular thread and needle. Or if you want to do it with like some sewing thread and needle, you could go over the seams. Because the wigs that I have made in the past with just the, the spandex caps, they're good. They're good for resizing. But like I said, the experience I've had in, in the past, a lot of these caps have ripped on me and they have not lasted as long as a durable dome cap has lasted because the material on just these regular spandex caps, and let me show you guys the front of it. It's going to say spandex cap. It's not going to say dome. This one says dome. This one just says spandex. On spandex cap, the material is a little thinner, you know, but on these dome caps, it's thicker. 
All right. So I hope that kind of explains what's going on. Now, these are great. Like I said, these are really, really great. When I used to make wigs for clients, they were good because I got to measure my client's head and I would, all I would have to do to resize it, I would just do like this. I would fold it and I would sew it down and it, it, it was sized exactly to their head, their head. And I loved it for that. Okay. But just know you need to go over these seams a couple of more to like one at least once to ensure that uh that it stays and the wig if you don't put the wig through too much wear and tear it may last but every time i made a wig with one of these caps after a while i have to remake the wig because these caps aren't as durable if that makes any sense so let's carry on i know y'all probably tired of hearing me ramble about that so anyways we're going to get back into this cap this is a spandex weaving cap all right so this one right here says spandex weaving cap and they're both 199 these are 199 because the material is thinner a dome cap is always going to be um a little bit more expensive because uh because of the material all right so with this one though this one says and this is where these wig caps get real tricky this one doesn't say anything about it being a dome cap on it. It only says spandex weaving cap, and it does say extra large. If you have a bigger head, then go towards the extra large caps. So this is the cap. Now, the spandex cap with, this one said uh, spandex cap. This one says spandex cap. Don't get confused because as you can see, when we open up that pink one, what does that look like? It looks like our dome caps, right? It looks just like our dome caps. Don't make the same mistakes that I used to make. I used to get the wrong caps every time. This looks just like our dome caps, okay? Here go all of our dome caps right here. Here go our dome caps. And this one falls into that family, even though it says spandex cap. But as you can see, it has all the makings of the spandex dome cap but they're just calling it a spandex cap i can definitely tell that this cap is in an extra large i can definitely tell that so don't get these two don't get these two confused this is the one with the thinner um the thinner fabric and this one is shaped more so like a dome cap okay so yep we are moving right along i'm gonna put that back in the bag so we're just moving right along now we're going to move along to my favorite caps it's going to be by the company make your own wig now these are always going to be your most pricey um wig caps ever i'm not really sure like why these wig caps are so pricey but they are this one says 199 on it but usually this cap is 399 to 499 so I, i'm not sure why it has 199 on it but it's usually super freaking expensive so anyways this is what they look like this is my favorite cap my absolute favorite cap if if this cap isn't in i will sell it for some of the other ones but this one is my favorite so this is what it looks like it's your typical dome cap like look all right but see the thing and normally it's mesh i don't know why it's coming just this regular dome material normally it's like it looks exactly like this cap but i don't know but anyways this is what it looks like normally it's mesh but this is what this one looks like i like it it's because it's super super durable this band is so freaking thick it's so thick it helps your your wigs to last for a really long time and i've never had a problem with holes coming in the cap or it's splitting open up seams busting up i've never had that problem with it and it just fits every time it gives me a good fit but i make sure i always get the extra large they have a regular size and they have an extra large the extra large fits me so well and these caps here none of these caps are extra large all of them are made to fit a regular head which works fine but for me when i'm making a wig for me it just i have a lot of hair okay so i would much rather an extra large it gives me a more comfortable fit if you want something a little bigger look for things like that because as you can see that one says xl and then this one says xl okay so that's that my favorite one so now let's go to this cap now i just picked this cap up i don't know um it had like that little picture i guess it's supposed to be 
the wig being breathable or whatnot. I don't know. So I just picked it up to see kind of, you know, what it was all about. So let's see. This is what this wig looks like. I have never used this wig before, um, but it I thought it looked pretty interesting and I wanted to see what it was all about. So I picked it up. It, it's kind of like a half dome cap. It does have that really thick, um, the thick perimeter, which we love because it's just going to ensure the durability of your wig. So it has that thick part right here. But in the front, as you can see, it is like a mesh type of material. Okay. So what this cat would be made more for, it, um, would be someone who's trying to do a U part and a U part is when you want to leave to the top of your perimeter out. Okay. Your real hair out. <coughs> Excuse me. So this this cat would be more towards someone who's trying to do that. I mean, you can you could make a closure um you could make a closure wig with it, but it would just be too much going on with it and it, it wouldn't really fit right because you don't have like that stretch here. But a frontal wig, you could definitely make a frontal wig because it wouldn't matter about this part because once you lay your frontal, you're going to cut this whole top part, that whole mesh part off. So if you would want to make a frontal wig with it, then you definitely could. Um, and then it kind of gives you a rubric as to where the middle of the cap goes. So if you like laid your frontal, just according to that part right there, that could work out. But me personally, I don't see myself <laughs> using this cap like at all. So anyways, guys, that is the look of the cap. And that cap was definitely $3.99. That is a big much. I just don't see myself continuously purchasing that. So anyways, uh, guys, we got all, we talked about all of these wig caps all of these wig caps and as you can see most of them were the same okay most of them were the same hopefully you guys um really understood the difference between mesh and the difference between dome and the difference between just a regular spandex cap that was my whole um that was my whole idea as to making this because i know a lot of people get confused I was getting confused when I first started making wigs because I was like, oh, where do I start? You know, and people didn't really have videos like this. It was just with them with the wig on the head making the wig. And I was like, okay, so what do I do now? How do you do this? You know, I was really confused. So, um, and I picked up the, the wrong cap many times because I didn't understand spandex, dome, and mesh. I'm like, okay, can I just get a cap? <laughs> um what up what's up with just the capsules so anyways guys i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go ahead and end this video let me know if this helped you did it enlighten you have you ever had any type of questions about what kind of cap was what or like why they had so many different ones do you guys have a wide variety of caps in your store uh your beauty supply store because i know when i go in mine it's like this whole aisle of nothing but freaking caps and i'm like OMG. <laughs> so it's definitely easy to get overwhelmed when you don't really know what's going on. So anyways, guys, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below and I'll definitely, definitely see y'all in my next one. Bye.